Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. This week I'm featuring the Winter Owls. Boy, did I hear from so many of you asking to do projects, to create projects with a Winter Owl. So I've made it a whole focus. I've got about five or six projects to show you. It's a Facebook Friday focus. Um, so if you're looking for more ideas, make sure you click the link here. Go back to my blog, check them out. There's multiple projects, multiple days. Um, and this one actually is part of Facebook Friday. So that means it has a free PDF with measurements and supply list. This is actually a gate fold card. You slide off the belly band and it opens like this. Isn't that gorgeous? It's like a beautiful gate opening up. Now I am using the um, Joy of Christmas designer series paper. Look at those music notes. Oh my gosh, I just love it. And I thought that the leaves along with kind of the woodsy color went really well with our owl. Let's make the card base first and then we'll make our owl and tree. You're gonna need a piece of pecan pie that measures five and a half by 11. So you're gonna only get one card out of one piece of cardstock. Usually we cut a cardstock piece in half, but this time you're gonna need one piece. Uh, or one piece only cuts one card base. Now you, when you cut off this part, you'll have enough to cut your, um, your nested shape, your trunk, and your belly band. So you'll get use of the whole, the whole piece. All right, on the long side of this five and a half by 11 inch piece, we're gonna score it at one and a fourth, three and three eighths, and that, so that's one, two, three, little tick marks past three, seven and five eighths, and that's just the one tick mark past the half, and then nine and three fourths. All right, let's move that out of the way. And we're gonna fold those two lines on the, uh, in the two center lines, they go towards the center. And then the outer score lines go towards the outside. All right, so in and out. And use your bone folder, get those lines nice and crisp. All right, okay, this is a really easy, fun fold card. We're just gonna adhere some paper to I can get all the pieces to the outside. I have the, the music notes pieces. I, I have a hard time with this sheet because I love equally both prints. Look at that gingham. But we're gonna stick with the woodsy color. Um, you know, you could make this a Christmas card if you wanted and use that gingham. This, this paper is a sleeper, I think. It's so beautiful and I don't think the catalog really does it justice. Um, I have used it a ton and I have bought a couple extra packs just so that I'll have some left over. All right, so we've put those two pieces there. Now on the outside of these two flaps, we're gonna put these strips. Again, I'm not gonna tell you all the measurements. There are quite a few measurements for this. Um, it's all on the PDF. I find that if I start spouting off measurements, I get them wrong and I have to make corrections on the video. So. Um, let's see, I have three pieces here. One is a little bit larger, which I think is that one. Um, so make sure you just print that PDF off. Now this piece, this other piece is gonna go on the inside. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do the inside piece. I have a piece of garden green, all right? And we're gonna put that in the middle, right here. And then I've got this piece of basic white, and we're gonna do a little bit of stamping on it just a little bit, let's open it up and see. We're gonna stamp just the sentiment in early espresso. The sentiment says, may you have time to enjoy the quiet moments of the season. It's a beautiful saying. I always wonder who writes these sayings, they're just beautiful. All right, right there in the corner. Looks like my early espresso ink pad needs to be re-inked. It's very light. All right, and we'll put that right there. Oops, I didn't cut it, um, I cut it too big. Let's see if I can trim it down. It needs to just be a little bit skinnier. Let's see, what about the, the length? I think the length is right, yeah, just the width. There we go, look at that. I got it perfect. That was lucky, because I didn't even measure. All right, now this strip is gonna go right here. I like to fancy up the insides. For one, it really, add something special to your card, but also <laughs> kind of creates a smaller space so you don't have to um, write so much. I always struggle with what to write, so 
I like to cheat a little bit, make the space smaller. Is that bad, you guys? <laughs> I don't know. All right, close it and take your pecan pie belly band. And we're just going to fold over the ends like this. Put some adhesive on the end. And then you just want to match them up. Not too, too terribly tight so that it will slide easily. I've made it sometimes so it's so tight that I can I have a hard time sliding it. All right, and then I'm gonna use a pecan pie ribbon. And I just am tying a knot here. I felt like a bow. This is kind of a thick ribbon. And I felt like the bow was just a little bit too, um, too much. It was too big for this. This is kind of a masculine card. Um, and so I wanted to keep it kind of simple. So all I'm gonna do is tie a knot. Uses less ribbon as well. If you wanna do the bow, go for it. We have another ribbon that just came out that I'm gonna show you that might be another option for this. It's an online exclusive. And let me just trim this and I will show you because I did pull it out. Um, it is hiding right here, this pecan pie and uh, I stitched, double stitched ribbon, I think is what it's called. Let me see. Can never see, turn, 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 turn. Where is it? Center stripe ribbon, there we go. So it's an online exclusive, it's really cute. Um, I made this sample before that ribbon came out, so I just wanted to show you there was some other options. Okay, let's get to the star of the show. The first thing I have is a nested essential pecan pie piece. It's not the largest, it's the second largest. And we're gonna take our branch or tree and we're going to stamp and stamp again, all over. Stamp, stamp again. We're creating different levels of ink intensity this way. All right, stamp, stamp again. Stamp, stamp again. You're not gonna see a whole lot of this, but it's gonna add just a little bit of interest to the back side of our trunk. All right, now let's stamp our owl. And I'm gonna stamp our owl in pecan pie on basic white, okay? And then we've gotta do some die cutting. So let's bring over our cut and emboss machine. We have the die, of course, to match our owl. And remember, I told you you would have scraps left from when you cut your card base. So get, get some of that, and we're gonna cut this tree trunk. I think this is such a clever little piece. It's really um, interesting. It also kind of embosses. Well, maybe it's not embossed as it is. It's creating some ridges, some lines, some cut lines in there. It does emboss too, so you can see the back. Isn't that neat? All right, so we've got that pecan pie. We've got our little owl. Then we are gonna take the two branch dies right here and cut them from Early Espresso cardstock. move this guy out of the way and I have found that these like to stick in the die they don't just pop out so just get your take your pick tool and poke them out that's why there are holes there all right let's put it together we've got our tree and I don't know if it goes this way or this way so you decide I feel like it's probably that way I'm gonna take some dimensionals. And put that right there. See how you just see the stamp, the edges of those, those stamped images that you did. And then we're gonna put our beautiful owl on the inside there like that, a dimensional again. And these guys, I'm actually gonna use glue dots we're gonna put a dimensional on top of it too, but for right now, I'm just gonna use a glue dot. We've got this one, and we don't want it sticking out too far. Let's see, let's go down a little bit lower. Like that. I'm gonna use my um, take your pick tool to get some glue dots off of there. Stick it down right 
there. And then we'll do this one as well. Put that kind of overlapping like that. Now I have cut out a stylish shape basic white stitched banner and we're gonna stamp warm wishes in early espresso. Now, I always recommend that you stamp first, die cut second, but for the sake of the video, I went ahead and die cut it so that, you know, speed things up a little bit. It's a little bit harder to stamp straight when, you, when your stamp is red rubber. So that if you stamp first and then die cut second, you don't have to worry about getting it straight. Oh, that little take your pick tool wants to be in the video. All right, and we're gonna put this right across there. See how we put those dimensionals on there that will help hold on to those branches. All right, last but not least, I'm gonna put some dimensionals right here over the ribbon. I think two will be fine. And we're gonna put that right there so it's just attached to the belly band. And that's it. Isn't that beautiful, you guys? So fun. Um, you could easily change this into a Christmas card. I think that the sentiment really goes well. You could put Merry Christmas instead. You could add red ribbon, and you could use even the red gingham if you wanted. All right, make sure you click the link here on YouTube, go back to my blog, check out all the other uh, Winter Owl projects that I have, and let me know if you have questions. Happy stamping, bye-bye.